Hello Pisces and welcome to your April 2021 general reading. This is for those that are born February 19th to March 20th. So you just had a birthday. So happy birthday to you, belated. And let's see what we've got going on for you. This, this is a general reading so it will not resonate with everyone. So, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. I guess we'll take it this way. And this way. Wow. Card of Scorpio. Hmm. Alright, so you can please like, share, and subscribe. All, all the information you need is in the description below. If you'd like a personal private reading with me um how to do that and when i reach 100 subscribers which i'm really close to because i'm a fairly new channel although i've been doing tarot reading for 20 odd years this part's new to me so if you would like um when i reach 100 subscribers i'll be giving away a free reading and uh, information on that will come at how to sign up basically and oh goodness, all these major arcanas. Whew. Crazy. Pisces, what have you got going on? Mile, mile, mile. Of course. Um, anyway, so we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, but I'll have information on how to. I'm going to have like a question, and then if you answer the question, you can be eligible for the reading, and then we'll have a drawing. And go from there. That's crazy. Bottom of the deck, of course, is the magician. It is, you know, manifesting, knowing you have everything in you to manifest whatever you want. And it's in reverse. So you could have some self-doubt going on. Um, or maybe that what you're trying to manifest isn't coming into light yet. It is a possibility. Alrighty, let's see if we can get through this reading. Pisces. We've got the Hierophant in reverse as you right now. And that is... Could have something to do with tradition. Doing things traditionally. It's in reverse, so it's a possibility of wanting to do things in a non-traditional way. Um, it could be, you know, maybe turning your back from a religious society or turning your back from some type of religion possibility. I have a feeling it's it's doing something in a non-traditional way. Um, kind of like if... You're expected to marry a certain type of person. Or if you're expected to go to a Harvard or be a lawyer or whatever. You're not going to do that. You're going to do what you want to do. And... What crosses that is death, and this is the end of a cycle. And this is letting something die, letting something go, so something new can begin. This is a card of Scorpio. The Hierophant is a card of Taurus. So this is letting something die, literally letting something go. Completely finished, done. So something new can start, something new can be reborn. This could be, you know, for the LGBTQ com community, um, if you're transgender or if you're coming out, letting the old you go, doing something that's not traditional or what people seem as traditional, letting something completely 
be done with it so something new can come. It's a possibility. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting from it. Um, what kind of led you to this is the moon. So there's, there's seeing things clearly. Uh, something that's been hidden has been illuminated. There is... It, well, first and foremost, it's your card. The moon is a card of Pisces, so you're showing up in your own reading. It's a very, you know, watery energy, very emotional energy. So things that are hidden or were hidden come into light. You gain knowledge of a, of a situation or gain knowledge of a situation. Or you saw the truth of a situation or saw something for what it truly is. I also think something around Easter with the rabbits or a star if you celebrate. So something came into light um, that made you, you know, do whatever's non-traditional and let some that let something go. Again, maybe if you're in the closet, somebody ousted you or something like that. I just have that. It's a, it's a feeling of freedom, but it wasn't your choice. You have stability in your past. Wands, their fire, passion, grounded, earthy, celebrations, fun, coming in your, from your past into your present. Your present's heartache. The Three of Swords. It's not only physical heartache that somebody hurt you, but it's also mental heartache that somebody hurt you. I just wish I could give you a hug. <laughs> I just, I just, uh. But you have, you know, the three is also a card of growth. So I think going through what you've been through. Will help you grow. In the future, you have the devil, which is a card of Capricorn. Of course, you have the devil. It's a card of addictions, control, um, lust, greed, pretty much all the vices you can think of, gambling, alcoholism. That's in the present. So knowing this, knowing that that's a pat, if it's a pattern for you, because I don't know why that came out, um, and whatever the situation is could possibly be a trigger. So try to, since you know this in this reading early enough, try to redirect the energy to something positive. The devil's also a card of being felt captive, felt un, like you're not in control of a situation. Your energy is judgment in reverse. Judgment upright to me is almost being given a second chance of heeding the call, of doing, doing what you think is the right thing, and it's in reverse. So, maybe you're not going to feel like you're, you're, since it's your energy right now, and you're not 
right now you don't feel like you're being given the chance. And again, it can be taken for its worth, you know, being judged. You feel you're judged. And I feel that nobody judges you more harshly than yourself. your energy the energy around you is a high priestess so I think you're very intuitive you know you could be psychic you could be a medium you have a gift I think those around you know it and maybe you don't see it or maybe you're not wanting it maybe you don't want to see it it's also a card of trusting your instinct, trusting your gut instinct, trusting your intuition. So that's the energy around you. It's giving you permission to trust yourself. That goes with the judgment card, you know, not to judge, to trust. To trust you're doing the right things, trust you're making the right decisions. Trust your judgment is just as good as anybody else's. Discernment. Your hopes and fears is the Ace of Coins in reverse. I think your hope, I think your fear is that whatever the situation is, it's going to hamper your ability to make money this could be with you know a new job coming in or new money coming in a new way to make money coming in maybe you're just starting a new job and maybe you're afraid that you know whatever the situation that has caused you heartache will lessen your chance of work or make as much money as other people or maybe you won't get enough hours or something to that effect all right then we have the final outcome of the card is the ace of wands so wands are passion fire signs um aries leo or sagittarius growth so it's in reverse so you do have new growth and you do have again you have new money you have new growth it's just not gonna happen as swiftly as you would like it to this could be where in order to get the job you want or in order in order to get the promotion you want you might have to go back to school there's like a, uh, a catch to it. It's not bad. It's just there's two things that go hand in hand here between money and um, growth, expansion, something you're passionate about. I almost feel too if you rediscover what you're passionate about, if you really go back and think about what you're passionate about, it can make money. It's not something that you would give up your day job right away for. We've got to overcome these obstacles. You've got to overcome this. Knowing it's coming down. I think this, this card of the heartache and, you know, not only somebody physically hurting you but hurting you're hurting yourself with your thoughts all right and you have to remember that you have everything you need inside of you to manifest anything you want you have to get that self-confidence back
All righty. Let's see what we have for you for your health. Overall health for Pisces. Divine wisdom. You know, it's not funny, haha, -ha, but funny. I noticed the book down here. I don't know if it's on camera. And usually when I get that card, I, I notice the green, the growth against all the fire is what I notice. But I notice the book, Knowledge, Divine Wisdom, Divine Guidance, Being Divinely Guided. Being Divinely Guided. All right, let's see. We are 36, is it? Hmm, it's the last card of the, the deck, too. That's interesting. It is your soul star chakra, which if you know anything about your chakras, they're the energy centers of your body. And your soul star is above your crown. Your crown's above your head, so this is above that. And it says it is. it relates to angels and masters, universal light, divine wisdom, soul healing, cosmos, light beings, personal guides, creator, and source. It's all about believing in yourself. About living your most authentic life. You have the divine wisdom of the universe available to you at all times. As you may know, you are deeply connected to and, and an expression of the divine light of the universe. This divine light has within it the powerful knowledge and wisdom of the cosmos. This light is all-knowing, wise, and all-loving, intelligent light. You are reminded at this time that this wisdom is at your fingertips, that you are made up of this wisdom, and that it runs through your blood. And that could be, too, where this, you know, the, the Hierophant in reverse comes in. If it's, you know, doing things in a non-traditional way, but it's also, it's also a card of, it, it could be of the church or of a church. You can access it at will. If you have been searching for answers and guidance from sources outside of yourself, it's now time to look inward. All right, manifest. It's time to tune in, connect to, and become aware of the divine wisdom that lies within. Trust the calling to deepen and awaken this aspect of yourself as you can start to trust the wisdom that comes to you. Take a moment in a quiet place, ask your question, and listen to the voice inside your heart offering you the answers and singing the song of divine wisdom. The answers lie within the chambers of your heart. Sometimes it can be challenging bypassing those crazy thoughts in your head. Mm -mm -mm. In order to get to your heart. <laughs> That's kind of funny. The head and the heart. Mm -mm -mm. Sometimes it can be challenging. Oh, I already read that. However, once you get that that feeling in your body that everything is just right, you will know you are, are there. Then it is a matter of trusting the process and as it grows stronger to use it just like a muscle. It's time to flex your heart and listen to the divine wisdom it has to offer. It pulsates through every cell of your being, ready and waiting for you to awaken to its call. And again, know you're divinely guided. Alright, let's see what else we got for you. Death is also transformation, transforming.
many paths. Hmm. It's in reverse, but I'll, I'll leave it upright, but I have to read it in reverse. I think it's, you know, many paths can lead to the same, same place. Many ways to get to a certain place. Let's see. We have to read it as the medicine. You have outgrown your current situation and risk losing your way in your own backyard. You are being called to step out of your comfort zone. Respond now while the call is a gentle whisper. Respond to the call. Even though the woods look thick and impenetrable, venture in and let nature guide your steps through the dark until you reach your destination. Remember, if you do not know where you are going, any path will take you there. All paths lead to spirit. What, you're, what you bring to your journey is what will determine if yours is a path of suffering, a pan, path of pain, a path of wisdom, a path of bliss, or a path of loss. It's up to you. Again, with the devil, too. Consider the traveler who met two, stones, two stone masons. He asks one what he is doing, and the mason replies, I am squaring out the stone. He asks the other who is doing the exact same thing and gets the reply, I am building a cathedral. One man has a job, the other man has found his work and calling. He is part of an endeavor much greater than himself. Be sure you pick the path with a heart. I don't know if you can see the heart right there. Hmm. pull one more card, an animal totem card for you, Pisces. This could show up through at the month of April and you can just re remember this reading. This could be something you look at now and come back in the middle of the month and then again at the end of the month and see how it plays out. I would love to hear how this plays out with you. I really would. All right. All these blues matches your, this card, that electric blue. Ah, that's funny. It's electric eel spirit. Bring your ideas to life. I believe it was in reverse too, but we'll leave it upright because it's a pretty card. Bring your ideas to life. All right. Electric eel spirit. And we read this one as the protective message. Ideas that need to percolate as they rarely download in detailed form. Have you too quickly dismissed an epiphany because you couldn't see what it might lead to? It's kind of funny. It goes with that stonemason story in a sense. Have you rushed to follow the muse without taking time to contemplate the meaning of your aha moment? Perhaps your dream will take a different form than you first imagined, morphing into something else that is even better. Spirit's plans are often hard to discern, but so much more satisfying once they have taken over from, from your own predetermination. Maybe your big idea is taking more time to shape than you expected. Have you considered that you are meant to learn something in the process of bringing it into being? Commit to transformation. Go with the flow. And into learning any lessons this new venture will bring. And soon you will see that your aha was even more valuable than you realized when you first felt it electrifying you. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So what path 
What path will you follow? I'd say not the traditional one. You're going to march to the beat of your own drum. But I still feel something here with this ace of coins. Whatever you manifest, whatever you, again, if you're creating, whatever you're creating... That is where I would put my focus if I were you. Trust your instinct. Trust your gut instinct. You know, lighten up. Don't be so hard on yourself. Letting go of a situation. Manifesting. Transforming. Becoming somebody new. Becoming new. Becoming your, your true authentic self. All right, Pisces, thank you for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I really do. Um, I would love to hear how this resonates with you. I love feedback. I lo it helps me connect. I feel connected. Um, I don't feel like I'm just talking to nobody. You know, when I, when I get your comments and your likes and, and all that, I get, I, it, it just means so much because I feel connected. Like, ugh, you get it too or you hear me too. Especially when you, you know, Tell me that it did help you or did resonate with you. I can't help. I have to go back to this card too. It's like there's a way out. There's always a way out. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Light at the end of the tunnel. Always. My big red flag is that the devil, the addictions. But knowing it's coming, again, redirect your energy to the creativeness. To your knowledge, to your books, to your learning. Alright, Pisces. Thank you for watching. And have a wonderful, blessed April. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.